describe the church, High Desert Church. I know, according to your bio, that it started off with about 125 people, yeah. and you have praised them. You have indicated how much they have tried to live out this Christian life, which is amazing. Yeah, uh, that you have that type of affinity, and you can see that, hear that. You've inherited that, I think, a little bit from your father, that pastoral love. But yeah. what the church grew rather, I mean, steadily over time. The church is about what right now? Well, pre right now, pre-pandemic, <laughs> pre-pandemic. Yeah, we had about well, attendance is around was around six thousand, and <laughs> and now and now attendance is more in the. Uh, 3,500. Uh, it's a little, little more than half. Uh, you know, I think at least well, I, I don't spend a lot of time comparing, uh, yeah, our, I've point? never, I've never worried too much about uh, comparing, um, our numbers to, to anything, even to what it was last weekend or what it was last year. I just feel privileged that anybody would show up on a weekend and want to hear what we say or, or participate in, in what we're trying to do. So, uh, but, but yeah, it's uh, when you, when you look at what other churches have experienced post COVID, not that we're truly post COVID um, maybe you guys can, can, can do that more in Florida than we can in, in California. <laughs> post -COVID. But uh, yeah, we're, we're probably right in there with, with what churches are experiencing in, in terms of in-person participation based on what they're, their church family looked like a couple of years ago. So t tell me though more about the people of yeah. High Desert Church. I want to hear about the people to because I hear you say Victorville is in the high desert and it is over a hundred. I mean, first of all, I hear desert and that automatically sends thoughts through my mind. Sure. But I also think of John the Baptist. He's out in the wilderness yeah. preaching and that's kind of you. Yeah, I feel I was, like that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't see where, you know, having a sushi and, and wild honey. Is. <laughs> sushi and wild locust. <laughs> locust and wild honey are kind of in the same category for me. But no, I, I don't. I've never felt like John the Baptist. I mean, maybe maybe um, because I've been where where John ministered and uh, it's it's much nicer. <laughs> it's, much, it's much nicer than, and you know what, Travis? I have to tell you, when when we set out, to, when we came to Victorville, we knew what we were getting into. And I okay. and I will and I will say, I'm an introvert. I I told you that in mm -hmm. pre-show. Sure. I'm an introvert. I've never felt worthy of my calling. I I walk out on the stage every week, nervous, um, and wondering. How it's going to go? <laughs> I have confidence in Christ, brother, but not in Tom. But when I came here, I really felt like going to an outpost in the middle of the desert is probably what I deserve, based on the fact I didn't finish seminary, I didn't have any experience, and I was not a denominational dude. You know, kind of. You know, not this sounds condescending. I don't mean it that way, but being a part of a denominationals, mm -hmm. you know, the game. You're the an game outsider. Board. You were an the outsider. Game. I was an outsider. Good call. I was an outsider. So coming here, I was just honored to be here. And I remember showing up on this campus. We're at we have four sites now. And I'm sitting in an office in our original site. And the road, I'm looking out the window, man. The road dead ended here. Mm. I mean, you either turned right and went to junior high or you turned left and went to church, but you weren't going anywhere else. And it was a community that was not very attractive, especially if you didn't like the desert. But the people were great. The people mm -hmm. were, were blue collar. Um, <laughs> you know, carry a gun in your boot. Uh, they were, this is where Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, I mean, I know many of your viewers are going to have to Google those names, but for <laughs> me, at my age now, I mean, I grew up watching those Westerns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this was, they were the matriarch and patriarch of this community. There was a lot of movie set work out here. I mean, it was the wilderness. But I had a place that was going to pay me to, to, mm. to teach the Bible and, and kind of grow them up. And, and so I was, I was honored. We came with one little girl, Cheryl and I had one little girl. Now she's married to one of our pastors, Danette, and has four beautiful grand of our 11 grandchildren. Four of them are being raised by 
Danette and Brian, and the Lord gave us two more kids. We've had a great time. Our family has grown. Uh, you know, two of our kids work here. One is in the business world in Phoenix. We're as proud of each of them as the others. They're walking with the Lord. All 11 grandkids are a delight to us. I could not have asked for a better script, but I hate the desert. So, you know, <laughs> they're all together. 